Today, we're going to be talking about finger bikes, why I use them, what they do, and why they're super, super fun. First, let's look at the bike and some of its very unnecessary parts. First of all, it has a front brake, which is nice for doing undoes. And you can actually pedal the bike. It has this nylon chain. But the moment you stop, the wheel stops. Now, Undo, why use it? Well, it's still sunny here in California, and a lot of places it's snowing and you can't go outside and bike ride. But when you want a bike ride, you want a bike ride. So this is a way you can indoors. And the nice thing is, you don't need any ramps. As you see me in this video, I don't use any. I use carpet, tables to drop off of. I mean, there's so when it's snowing, you can pick one of these up for about $15, ride it around your house, and have a ton of fun. Then I ran into a big problem. So let me explain this. Why this happened is because this is a $15 finger bike. It's a nice finger bike, but it's not a bike with amazing bolts and everything. It's just a little plastic toy. So after tightening it again, it worked perfectly. If you had the same handlebar problem I did, just take the tiniest screwdriver in your house and tighten down where the stem would be. There's a little screw on most of them, and they'll be right back on. If you have any dogs at home, don't let them get to these because my dog is already looking it down. She didn't attack it and she was tired here, but she definitely looked at it. Guys, if you are not met Soul, I'll put a video in the description. She's my new eight week old puppy. She's a lab. She's a girl. That's all I got for you now. She sleeps a lot and the video will be in the description and one of the corners. I should probably remember that about who she is and her running around our house. These are just straight out fun. They just are super fun to use. You can learn quickly with them. And like I've said a lot of times in this video, they're fun. I also use mine during online learning with my keyboard as a little ramp. When I finished early, I did some tricks with it. Tables, chairs, or anything like that carpet is a great way to use it because you don't really need any ramps. You can just use those as little kickers and drops and stuff and learn tricks quickly. Here I use the corner of the carpet as a little gapper jump. Who never said flat ground wasn't fun? As you can see, I actually do like that front brake a lot because I like that little endo tail up thing. They're really easy to learn on too. I was able to land this triple tail up within the first two days of getting this one. You can use anything for a finger bike. Not clean at all, but I did it. And like on a real bike, you fail sometimes. <laughs> Whips for days. This is the Sleeping Dog Tail Whip. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe. It really helps. And like the video as well while you're down there. I'd love to see some of you guys buy some of these $15 finger bikes and make some own videos on your channel. So... Make sure to subscribe, like the video, turn on those notifications so you get notified when I post videos, and that's all I got for you today. Stay safe and keep riding.